whoever would be great among you must be your servant and whoever would be first among you must be your slave even as the son of man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many welcome to the 12th day of a journey from wilderness to calvary my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus there is a story said about a monk who decided to be quiet in silence for one year and he told all his subjects all the inmates of the monastery that i would only speak two sentences one sentence after 6 months another sentence of after another 6 months when the time arrived all the inmates gathered around this monk waiting what this monk is going to speak what are the words that are going to come out from his mouth and then slowly he opened his mouth and spoke these words see what i am doing and he just kept quiet and went around doing the work doing the service to the people and these inmates the subjects were following him closely and seeing to the every work that this monk was doing after 6 months the time again came for this monk to speak and again all the inmates gathered around this monk and they wanted to hear the second sentence from his mouth what this monk is going to speak about and then he simply opened his mouth and said do whatever you have seen till today my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus it is very hard to follow what we speak and we hear from the political leaders they speak one thing and do the other it is very difficult to correspond our actions to the words that we speak in today's gospel we find jesus you know teaching his disciples to be aware of these pharisees and scribes who take the seat of teachers who teach but do not practice well my dear brothers and sisters we may be pointing at fingers to those religious leaders when we hear these words yes they preach and do not practice but what about our own self how are we teachers who are taking the place of god how are we taking the seat of moses these days all the parents take the seat of the moses or god because they are in the place of god teaching the children what to do what not to do but sometimes we lose the grip over our children because we say something and we practice other thing but children are mostly affected by what we see the actions influence them a lot and not only these parents teachers and the spiritual leaders or whoever take the leadership leadership roles all these people come under taking the seat of moses and that's why in the letter of james we read many of you do not many of you should be teachers because every word that you teach every word that you pronounce will be judged by god and accordingly the punishment is reserved my dear brothers and sisters the second thing that we find jesus pointing out at the pharisees and scribes says that they are pious religious practices they practice this religious pious pious religious uh, pious religious uh, uh, religious pious activities by put showing them off to people by the way of dressing by the way they walked into the streets all these were pious practices but there was not a spirit of religiosity in that by walking and showing themselves to the people in, in literally burdening the people with the ritual practices instead of getting people closer to god they were distancing them distancing them from god by burdening them with the ritual practices my dear brothers and sisters it is we are jesus tells 
the disciples. Beware of these Pharisees and scribes. They do not do, do not listen to them, but do listen to them, but do not practice or do not do the actions that they do because their actions are contrary to that. My dear brothers and sisters, today as we are in the season of Lent, as we have crossed almost 12 days of our journey, let's look into our own pious religious activities that we do every day. And sometimes we may do those pious religious activities, but there is no spirit of religiosity in the practices that we do. What do I mean by saying this? My dear brothers and sisters, you know, you may be practicing the pious deeds of this Lent, but you don't really mean to do that because you skip the services that you do to the people, the good that you're supposed to do to the people. The spirit of religiosity is completely dead. It's like the beautiful parable that Jesus told, to, uh, Jesus told in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 21, where he speaks about the parable of two brothers. The elder one, says, I will not go into the field. And he goes. And the younger one says, I will go. But he doesn't go. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, our actions too are like that. That we profess saying that, my pie, in the first day of your Lent, you take a decision of, I will definitely do this, do this and all. But we go contrary to that. There may be people who said, I won't follow Lent this year. I won't do any pious practices, but let me be good. And they do that. There's a lot of difference, my dear brothers and sisters. Even without doing bias practices, religious practices, you can really practice the spirit of religion. So, let's just analyze our lives and see, where do I stand? If in these 12 days, am I simply doing pious practices and not following the spirit of religiosity? Or, am I just doing for the sake of doing it? If you like this piece of reflection, kindly share, comment, because your comments definitely encourage us and try to promote this channel by your little contribution. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.